So in general, because I'm not only referring to kids coming out of university or schools, um, I'm also referring to people that are unemployed and they're made 30s, 40s, 50s. Well, what do you think the best assets are now? So obviously it's about learning and education, but what do you think the best assets to have? Flexibility. Yeah. Flexibility is something that I, I think I think we've been used to being almost institutionalised. And Absolutely. if you institutionalise people, you infantilise them. So they don't, they aren't, they lose the creative streak. They lose their um, their ability to think outside the box. To use that ghastly business term. Um, so if we can persuade people that they have got a lot more to give than just what they're giving in their particular in their job then those attributes that they that they also have that they're not using in, in, in work could be put to good use uh, and help them to learn as you know to pick up different skills as they go along. I sometimes think employers look at a CV and they look at your qualifications and they look at your experience, but they don't look at your attributes as a person. Um, and there's a lot, most people have got a lot more that they could give. They've got a lot of ideas they could inject into a business. They've got lots of, um, if you consult your employees, for instance, you get massively good ideas. And the best employers are the ones who talk to their workforce and then put their ideas into, into process. And you can, uh, you can turn businesses around that way by using the skills and attributes and everything else that, you're, that your employees have without looking outside for consultancy. And I think that if people would learn to be more flexible and think about their own skills as ways forward, ways that they could move, way other, you know, where they could move into other jobs, it would be quite... I think that would be a really good way forward, a really different way of thinking about your career. I don't think we're going to have, nobody's going to have, no, that's not right to say, there will still be jobs for life for a few people, of course. but most people are not going to have jobs for life. They're going to have perhaps three, four, five different careers almost. So the career that you have when you finish education, the career that you have when you're buying your home and you know, bringing up your children and so on and so forth. The career that you have in your 50s because actually you, you've you gone as far as you can do and you want to do something completely different. And then perhaps another career in 60s and 70s because you're working later, but you want to do something lighter or something more creative or something that you've always longed to do. Mm. And we're seeing a lot more people now setting up businesses in their 50s because they're being made redundant and they're setting up little businesses doing things that they've always wanted to do. And, um, you know, really letting their creativity flow. Mm. So I think if we can get to the point where we, where we realise that we've got all sorts of skills and that we may want to call on those and keep them up to date, but that we've also got lots of attributes Absolutely. that we might want to use in future. Absolutely. And instead of pigeonholing ourselves into one particular box.